are about to get cooking. So what are we waiting for? Let's dive straight into it. Hey, Tumi. I'm so glad you chased Tabi so away because it's our yeah. time to shine. We're about to make some delicious food. And it's my time of the year anyway. Easter is my favorite time of the year. Well, listen, Utabi so can protest all he wants, but it's time for the girls to throw down in the kitchen. Now, nothing beats a whole roasted chicken with a crispy skin. Serve it with roasted veggies and a hot crust bun, and you have an easy Easter feast. Ooh, easy one pot wonder. You know, yeah. the one thing I love about Easter is as much as we indulge in those delicious recipes and all those flavors, mm. there's options for not having too much dishes, and this is one of them. We need to make the stuff that goes with the chicken, and for us, we're going to be using some veggies. So yeah. we're going to actually, you can actually start putting them at the very bottom. Let go first, spoon, my friend. Thank you so much, Chomps. So basically, at the end of the day, Mzanzi, it is simple. It's whatever mm -hmm. roasted veggies you would like to add to your one pot wonder. Yep. But for us here today, we've got some potatoes that are going to go in. We also have carrots, onions. Oh, love this. Eish. Some uh, rosemary. A uh, roast is not complete for me without a, some, a bit of rosemary. Just a little bit. Jabba. Delicious. A little bit of oil, garlic, salt and pepper. Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. And as you can see, I'm patting it dry, which is something that a lot of people tend to forget when making their roast chicken. Guilty. Guilty. <laughs> I, I do always you. forget to pat it down. Why do we do that, Gonj? The reason for that is to make sure we take out as much of the moisture that's there because we want the chicken, on, especially the skin, we want it to oh. roast up and get nice and, you know, crispy at the top as well and we also just wanted to cook gatli without steaming otherwise it becomes gray instead of it being nice and golden brown what you can then do is just get a nice sprinkling of coarse salt i prefer coarse salt because mm -hmm. if let's just say you're just brining the chicken then you can add this and then just flake it off at a later stage so just adding a nice generous slathering there of our uh, salt before we add the rest of our spices here and today i've got i've chosen to go with very simple spices we've got some cajun chicken spice here mm. we've also got my favorites paprika and cumin and you know what you mean now. Whenever I cook, those two are my staples. I always have them They involved. say present, <laughs> ma'am. I'm present. All the time. All right. And then now we're going to go in there and mix our spices together. So you can either mix the spices together, then put it on top, or layer it. It literally doesn't really matter. Okay. So I'm going to go in with my Cajun spice over here. Bear in mind that if you're using spices, for instance, like your chicken spice, barbecue spice, those already have salt in them. Mm -hmm. So be mindful of that. Otherwise, your chicken or your dish will end up being too salty versus the flavor that you wanted to impart on it. So mm. if, it, if you do have things like that, just be mindful of not adding too much. You know what I would add just as an additional elevated flavor profile and just to continue to layer those flavors is a nice squeeze of lemon. Ooh, yes, my girl. I do love chicken and lemon. It's, it's, for me, it's such an, it's a pairing that just makes sense. And I don't blame you because it actually brings out so much flavor from your chicken. And another way to get that flavor is to make sure what your chicken is taken out of the oven at least 30 minutes before, I mean, mm. out of the fridge, at least 30 minutes before you cook it because that'll also ensure an even cooked chicken. So as you can see, Pali, our chicken is almost done. Now I'm gonna finish mm. off with my favorite spice being some um, kumino. And don't be worried about all of this this is all gonna go into the pan either way and all the drippings that are gonna come from our chicken can I ask you just to pass me that um Oven yes. tray, Here we go. All friend. the drippings that we're going to get not only help with flavoring our veggies as well, but they also just give us a bit of a gravy. Because there are some people that say, I will not eat a meal if we get a gravy. To the point where some people actually make gravy on the side. So don't worry about that. Our veggies are going to get cooked nicely. Our chicken is going to get cooked nicely. The juices that come from that. In fact, what I would suggest is cook your chicken, give it 30 minutes, okay. take it out, baste it with those juices. Ah! Crank up your heat, grill it, make sure. So, you know what I normally do? I start my chicken at 180. In fact, that's what we're going to do now. Okay. Let's cover it now. I start my chicken at 180, covered with everything, for at least 30 minutes. All right. I then crank it up there after for at 100, 195 to 200 degrees. Remember, it all depends on your oven as well. Mm. Then I take the foil off and then let it grill. Basically get those beautiful grill marks for it. Because we also want that golden brown color on the yeah. chicken. We also do want that little bit of a charred color as you do see in our veggies here, that brownness mm. coming through as well. Because for me, color equals flavor. And color basically means, yeah, exactly. Exactly that. You took the words right out of my mouth. And Bali, we're just gonna, like I said, first 30 minutes and then another 30 minutes thereafter. There our baby goes in. She's gonna cook nicely. Mm. 
And there we go. And it is important to monitor, like I said, because our, oven, our ovens aren't the same. Some people have different settings. Just make sure that you monitor it. Don't overcook it. If you see that your chicken is getting brown too quickly, cover it with foil okay. if you haven't already. If you see that your veggies are still firm and your chicken is almost done, take it out. Most times your chicken and your veggies should cook at the same, at, at time. The same time. Absolutely. And again, those spices are not going to go to waste <laughs> because Bali <laughs> does ne never throws away food. So save that and make something <laughs> delicious on the side. Now, please do stay tuned for those adorable bunny flapjacks. I can't wait. <laughs>